What is up my Moon Tribe? I'm Haley, and welcome back to Moon Tribe Tarot. This is going to be for the star sign of Libra from August 1st to the 5th of August 2020, so take what resonates and leave behind what does not. If you would like to book a personal reading with me where your messages will 100% correlate to your story because they are specifically for you in mind, you can find all the information for how to reach me in a reading in the description box down below. Without any further ado, I have already gone and pulled your cards off camera like always for you, Libra, so let's get right into it. So we pull the Wheel of Fortune, the Six of Wands, and then the Ten of Wands. So the Wheel of Fortune represents a period of time where we really think that luck favors us in one instance and then the next it's gone. It does represent being favored. It does represent um, seasons and cycles. Everything changes. Most importantly, the message with this card, um, with the Wheel of Fortune, is the major kind of lesson of we don't directly get to decide what happens to us if something shitty happens, but we directly get to respond how to react. It's kind of like you're not um, in control of the hand that you're dealt, but you get to control how you play them. Um, you d directly decide the game based on how you play your hand, and that is all that matters. This is also a situation of letting go of control when it comes to um, needing control with life, needing to know the answers to everything. It's kind of giving up that control and kind of allowing things to just happen and allowing cycles to change, to be in your favor because they are going to be. I think that some sort of period of time is changing to favor you. And I think it's going to be some sort of large situ situation um, at work or wherever this is that is going to be a large victory situation. And not one more card for what is this victory going to be? Okay, so something changed. You definitely did allow something to pass. You let control go, and you allowed something to successfully evolve, die, and change into something that is going to now be successful. It could have been something, usually death is a loss. Death is some sort of indication of evolution, a need for evolution, because something had passed away. Now, this I'm not saying a person, um, but this is, I don't read this as actual death. I read this as a change that needed to happen. Maybe a relationship, maybe a job ended, maybe a, an illusion of a period of time ended, but it died and it made way to a new cycle where you allowed this to kind of transition in the time that it was supposed to. And now you're having some sort of large, large victory and when I think when it comes to dealing with your own emotions, and it's still something that is going to be a struggle for you, this is winning a major battle in the war. It's going to be like winning Gettysburg, but it's not winning the whole battle yet, not the whole war. But it does represent winning battles. It represents that you have your supporters in the form of your friends, colleagues, a uh, allies, whoever this is. You have people supporting you and working together with you to push you to your goal of success. Um, Libra, this is really, really fucking good energy. The only thing I want to caution you about is that I do think that you are still carrying around this energy of... Even though I see you working on the situation, even though I do see that death has evolved and you're allowing things to change, that doesn't mean that we have to be over the pain. That's very important. Even if you do heal... Um, healing is very, very messy, and it's not something that we can just put a timeline on for, oh my god, okay, in five months from now, I'm going to be completely okay and over the situation. If a situation hurt, and it ended abruptly, and it left you without a lot of questions or closure, expect that bitch to hurt for a while, and that is okay. And I'm not saying that it's okay to con um, consistently drag this around for you, but it's okay to stumble, and it is okay to struggle. Um, where it's, it's not that it's okay to struggle, but we have these setbacks. And I do see a lot of success here, but I do see you taking a lot of burden and not releasing it for whatever reason. Um, because whatever this is still burdens you, even though it doesn't, it's not a waking wound. It's not, it's more like a scar. Um, but it, it's still visible. The scar is still kind of freshly visible, but it's something that is mulled over. But it still hurts. You, it's, you can still look at it and be like, ah, oh, that sucked that that happened. Uh, and you do still carry this around. You're taking on a lot at once. Um, but let's see how we can relieve your load, <laughs> Libra. How do, we, how do we do that? Poor word choice. How do we relieve this? Very, very, very simply put. Um, and it's going to be very simply said. Not so much simply done. 
you have healing coming to you. You have either some sort of new type of situation, a new beginning in love, somebody offering you love or an apology. If that's not what this is, then it is saying that you need to allow this to heal. You need to have a new beginning. You need to, if, if there's not, um, I think that you need to have forgiveness in the situation. A lot of the time when I say this on my channel, people go, I don't want to have forgiveness, but I don't want to do this. And I'm like, okay, but like, you don't have to, but you also are going to continue this if you don't. So, if you would like to not struggle anymore, it is saying that you need to have forgiveness on yourself. Let this go. You do not have to allow this to be a waking pain anymore. It has evolved. You are learning this. You are having victory with this. This is going to be a lesson to come in to tell you, hey, like, it doesn't have to be like this. If you were to just take a bite and realize and look around, you have newness coming to you. This is over. Don't let this be a waking situation every day where the pain is the same. It's new. There's some sort of newness here. You have successfully done this. You do not have to wake in this pain anymore. It's willingly here for you. There is a new love, a new beginning, something that is going to make you very, very happy, and it's here for you to take. All you have to do is take out and reach it. It is here for you already. It is already mulled over. Um, the situation is something that has passed, and this new beginning is here for you readily to take if you would be able to take it, Libra. This is insanely good energy for you, even though it's painful and stressful and it's something where you might have a hard time releasing. But I promise you that there is a new beginning for you in store with the potential to be insanely pure. But you do have healing that needs to come in and you really need to allow it. And I do think that you are learning that lesson. I think this is kind of just going to be the last kind of flick to a situation to be like, all right, like, let's go. I got this. Like, even though situations like this are messy because we can be over the person that did it to us and not over the situation and sometimes we don't get closure on those things and it is completely okay but it's telling you that you have something new coming to you if you would like to take it Libra and I think that you should this is insanely gorgeous energy and I love you and I'll see you on the flip side peace out my moon tribe bye